Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the R Studios ESL Podcast. Man, I've got myself so much more. I got so much energy this morning. I decided to get rid of the pre-workout caffeine I normally take. And I said, you know what, man? I hate coffee. I hate coffee to the, I hate coffee. Oh my God, I hate it. It's disgusting. But it's black coffee, of course. And then I took some of that coffee and oh my God, I have no crash. I am full of energy and I feel good. So here I am today and I'm giving you some vocabulary. Man, it is hot as hell in here. And I'm going to give you some vocabulary in terms of getting meaning across. Guys, the next big podcast, of course, will be about the reading. Crying with laughter, we're gonna be speaking about emojis because emojis are just a huge thing right now. So this is a developing one for that. Also for those of you who would like to have a heading type of thing, like IELTS style type of uh, worksheet or whatever, these or the reading and these headings will be available on the Arsenio, um, but, huh? it's 8.21 a.m. Why is that train going by? That's weird. Hmm. Anyway, sorry guys. I'm just, that's really weird. Why? Oh my God, there are birds at the window. Sorry guys, I'm getting thrown off. There's a lot of craziness happening. There are birds like probably within a few feet from me. And uh, I see, tri man, I don't know what's going on this morning. So guys, let's focus. Here we go. We're going to get, I'm going to give you some vocabulary. Number one, hint. To give a hint. See guys, I told you I was going to have a lot of stories for this. So when we talk about hints, people, a hint is like given, given a very, uh, a very discreet way of telling someone something, right? It's kind of like when I see a woman, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, not all the time, but you know, I see a woman, she looks at me, and then she she gives me a nod. A nod is like a jerking of the head. It could be down, it could be up. Up means what's up. Down means come on over here. <laughs> No, that never happens. That's all in dreams. So yeah, a hint is when you're trying to tell someone something. I think in the movie I, Robot, uh, we, we like to do winks. So a wink is like, it, it's a form of trust, right? So in one of the scenes at I, Robot, this circa, oh my God, there's another train. I swear this train is open right now. Anyways, guys, I'm seeing trains pass by. I don't know what's happening. They said it was supposed to open the 15th, but I think it's open now. So what the hell is going on? So anyways, guys, with that being said, and I robot Will Smith, and you know the robot, he had the girl hostage. And he's like, hey, before you, da, 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 I'm going to put her head in the way of this bullet and you're going to end up killing her, da, 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 and all that other craziness, right? But the other robots in the room did not know the language of a wink. And so after the robot, Sonny is his name, gave Will Smith that speech and Will Smith looked at him, Sonny gave him a wink. And then Will Smith, he, oh my God, that means, and then in a split second, boom, they killed all the robots and whatnot. And so, yeah, guys, that, it's a hidden language. A hidden language is what a hint is, a wink. A wink could be anything. See, if I see a girl and she's looking at me, she keeps looking at me, I give her a wink. She smiles a little bit. She looks down. She's shy. She looks back at me. I give her a nod down. And she says, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's a joke. Anyways, guys, you understand what hints are. So vague. Vague is open to a lot of meaning, right? So sometimes when people are speaking, you could say uh, they say something that's very vague, meaning, ooh, that could mean this, that could mean this, that could mean that. So that's what vague is, okay? So again, they would actually, I'm going to give you a sentence with vague. It's advisable to give a vague answer when asked your opinion by an examiner in an English test. So for a lot of you out there who are doing the IELTS, it's, it's also very, very important to have one of those very vague answers. So again, guys, that's something to consider. Blunt. Oh my God. This is one of my favorite vocabulary terms. Um, here in Thailand, as a matter of fact, I heard that in parts of the culture, they are very blunt. For example, if a woman's wearing a dress that she shouldn't be wearing in America, we don't go so far to say, oh my God, don't ever wear that dress again. But in Thai culture, they do. And I'm like, oh my God, they, they say that? Could you imagine if someone said that? I remember, oh, I'm going to give you one. About four years ago, I had met this girl online, right? And she and, and she she was extremely blunt. She was rude. She was egotistical. She was egomaniacal. 
I remember I sent her a voice message and you know, with my voice messages, they sound just like this, a podcast, right? I don't know how to speak boring anymore. I don't speak boring. I speak with impeccability, right? I speak with a powerful punch behind it. So again, I'm not around going screaming and talking about this or that. This is the energy I normally do. Now, Eric Thomas, he's one that brings an insane amount of energy, but he always tones it down when he, of course, speaks to his wife or speaks to this or that. But this girl was saying, oh my God, I really hope that your voice isn't like that. I said, oh, hell no. What did she just say to me? Oh, hell no. What does that mean? Oh, hell no. Y'all see that in the, uh, the African-American movies. Boy, the women, they be like, oh, hell no. What did he just say to me? Yeah, she said that. I said, oh, hold, hold on. Hold, hold on. I was, I was struck. I was, I was confused. I was flabbergasted. I was in, I wasn't in awe. I was in shock and disgust. Not only that, I told her, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a haircut. She's like, oh my God, your hair is already agonizingly short. First and foremost, you cannot use a, a verb of pain, an adverb of pain to describe my hair. And yeah, my hair is short. Do you want a cookie for that? Excellent observation. I believe that you do have eyes and I believe that you are a condescending prick. Therefore, have a wonderful life and uh, I pray for you. Boom, baby, see that? that's what you do. That's what you do. You know, because I don't know who this woman was. I don't know who the hell she thought she was, but boy, you are not gonna speak to me in any time, in any kind of tone. Are you crazy? So. That's being blunt. Do not be blunt. Don't be, you know, a lot of people would say, don't be, I hate to say this word, but an asshole. Don't be an asshole. My mom would always say, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it unless you have to say it. Well, I added in that last part, unless you have to say it. So I've gotten in a couple of arguments with some people out here, okay? No, it's not part of my forte, but sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. No, it's not with regular simpletons, you know, that go throughout the day. It's people who are bus conductors on the bus because they are very rude and I don't like to be spewed at. That's all there is to it. Ambiguous is just like vague. It's open to a lot of meaning. And I am vocal about who I am. I'm vocal about where I come from. I am vocal about my past. I am vocal about everything that I am passionate about. Being vocal is being able to tell everyone whether you agree, you disagree, and who you are as an individual. See, that's called being vocal, but there's also people who mumble. Huh? Mumble, mumble, one mumble, dia, huh? You know, it's kind of like people from Liverpool, Newcastle, people from New Zealand, they have a tendency of mumbling rather than speaking. Hey, how's you, how you doing? Hey, hey, how's you doing? I said, boy, you better open your mouth when you are speaking to me. I do not like mumble. However, there is a new pop culture that is coming out and emerging in the hip hop scape. And what is that called? Mumble rap. Have you guys heard of that? These guys are popular. All they go is, and they go with the beat. It's the most, it's not even rap. They call it mumble rap. It is, I'm not gonna be negative, but it's not rap. It's just, anyone can do that. Anyone can do that. So anyways, mumble. Imply meaning to infer. That means you have to think deeper into the meaning. What is being explained here? You would hear these on, or you probably would have heard this on my TOEFL listening, uh, ITP listening uh, podcast. What can be inferred by this conversation, right? That means hear the conversation. There's a hidden meaning behind it. What can be inferred? What can be implied? That's what implication means. And convey. What it is that you are trying to convey to your audience. Me, I want to inspire the masses and encourage the masses around the world. So, guys, with that being said, this was 12 minutes. It could have been a lot longer, but I do have a, uh, probably a student that's coming in in about 25.3 seconds. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning into another ESL podcast. I am your host, as usual. If you guys have any questions, you know how to get in contact with me. Over and out.